being a photo. Very unusual now for a new The contribution of America's Cup to um, decarbonisation or sustainability is, is twofold. One, it is helping to support the blue economy within Catalonia and Barcelona and the greater Spain. And two, it's helping to lead the industry uh, because this is an industry that cannot, like the car industry, continue to burn fossil fuel. The problem for battery powered boats is they can't go very far. Um, the advantage of hydrogen is it gives the boats a lot more range. The future of this technology is the infrastructure. Uh, in the same way that for cars, uh, electric charging stations are slowly, you know, popping up all over the world. And it's the same here. For this technology to move forward, it needs infrastructure. And the Port of Barcelona with their products have been fantastic in providing the infrastructure. We can fill this boat to 350 bar pressure in 20 minutes. Uh, and that's never been done before. Uh, and that's brand new technology. So we hope it's a demonstration, if you like, of the, of the capabilities at the moment, but it does show that hydrogen is a viable fuel for the leisure marine industry. The super yacht industry, which is you know, big boats, um, is very conscious of its, its footprint. And all new super yachts these days that are being built are not just giant diesel engines burning diesel. They're pretty much all, at, at the very minimum, diesel electric. There is talk, and in fact there's one boat that I'm aware of in, in uh, production now, that will manufacture hydrogen on board to power its engines. So I think it, it, it's a message to the super yacht industry, but the super yacht industry also has that message. Uh, that it's, it, it, you know, it is a polluter, a bit like the shipping industry, but they are most definitely doing something about it.